Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. And the handoff to Atlantis's onboard computers. Atlantis now in control of the countdown. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. Atlantis now beginning to roll to a heads up position. The main engine swiveling, enabling, enabling the shuttle to uh, move to a heads up position above its fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Atlantis, press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. That call from Capcom Chris Ferguson uh, to Commander Charlie Hobaugh indicating that Atlantis can make normal Atlantis, orbital uh, cutoff uh, targets in the event of an engine failure. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer standing by for external tank separation. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. 
Commander Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank for downlink a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station. And we'll see you there, Scorch. Atlantis slightly low at the 180. Capcom Chris Ferguson reporting on uh, Atlantis's ground track as it makes its heading alignment circle turn into Kennedy Space Center's one-way 33. The shuttle also just announced its arrival at the space shuttle landing facility with subsonic booms. Pilot Barry Wilmore now in control of the steering of the space shuttle Atlantis for a moment. And now back with the commander in charge. Atlantis, slightly low at the 90. We agree. 90 degrees left in its heading alignment circle turn before it lines up with the runway. Now two minutes away from touchdown on runway 33. Shuttle still uh, going at a rate of 355 miles per hour. It'll be touching down at a rate of 224 miles per hour. 16,000 feet in altitude at the moment. One runway 33 here in view as Commander Charlie Hobal lines Space Shuttle Atlantis up for its touchdown in just over one minute. Atlantis is speed 356 miles per hour and 6,700 miles above it in altitude. Bob flaring up the shuttle's nose for landing, and as you can see, the main gear of in place. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Barry Wilmore pulling the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Atlantis now rolling out on runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center at the 4,490,138 mile flight to the International Space Station. Houston Atlantis, we'll stop. Roger, we'll stop Atlantis. That was a picture-perfect end to a top fuel mission to the space station. Everybody, welcome back to Earth, especially you, Nicole. We'll meet you on page 5-3, the entry checklist. Begin the post landing, first, thanks. 